Hello, this is the first video of Dislas Productions. And here we have Dislas and James. Yes, that's me. Hello. Mm -hmm. He's a special guest today. Hello, yes, it's true. I am the special guest. Oh, yes, you are. And today's video is about the number five. We all know that it's like 3.1415 and blah. But we're going to like explain it to you in the simplest form, which a lot of teachers at schools do a bad job doing. They definitely do a bad job. <laughs> so we all know the standard that it's infinite and non-repeating, but let's get a little more creative. If you were to write a book about your life with as much detail as possible about everything, and to do everything. that you would you would need to do a correspondence from every letter to a number. So A would be 1, B would be 2, C would be 3, what's happening? D would be 4, and so on. And this book would just be a string of numbers. Then this book about your life is somewhere in the number pi. Mind blown, right? I don't know, mine is still here. Maybe somebody's is blown somewhere. Somebody somewhere is always blown. Yep, that's true. And you can, you know, what's pi discovered for? Were they, like, made the number pi up for? Mm, it was discovered, I would say. Well, yeah. When they were trying to figure out the area of a circle. The circumference of a circle? Ah, yes. It's like the perimeter. Like, the circumference is this thing, the thing that actually... That's true, it is. It really is. That makes up the circle, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, uh, there is a little trick you can do. And you can measure the circumference of a coin with a thread. You just wrap around your thread, weirdo, around the coin. <laughs> Cut off the extra part if there it actually is an extra part. Of the thread. That's true. Very true, yes. <laughs> to measure, measure the length of the thread, and there you have it. But only if you're an engineer, not a mathematician. Okay, that was mm -hmm. very useful. Yes. Mm -hmm. 